Hi everybody, this is Jennifer from the San Anselmo Library and welcome to Storytime. I'm gonna start by singing our welcome song. So it goes like this. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, good job. So I have a book that I'm going to read to you today, and it is called The Nose Book, and it's all about noses. So I'm going to begin now. Everybody grows a nose. I see a nose on every face. I see noses every place. A nose between each pair of eyes. Noses, noses, every size. They grow on every kind of head. They come in blue and pink and red. Some are very, very long. Some are very, very strong. Everywhere a fellow goes, he sees some new, new kind of nose. A nose is useful, after all. Some play horns and some play ball. A nose is good for making holes in trees and roofs and barber poles. That's silly. But sometimes noses aren't much fun. They snipple. They get burned by the sun. Ow! A nose gets punched and bumped on doors and bumped on walls, and bumped on floors. Ow! Sometimes your nose will make you sad. Sometimes your nose will make you mad. But, just suppose you had no nose. Then you could never smell a rose or pie or chicken a la king. You'd never smell a single thing. And one thing more, suppose no nose, where would all our glasses sit? They'd all fall off. Just think of it. And that's why everybody grows between his eyes some kind of nose. Can you find your nose? Mine is right here. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you check out another one of our story times. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.